for this particular problem, you want to find the standard position of 2 pi over 3. So 2 pi over 3 means 2 thirds of a semicircle. So here's your semicircle, which is pi radian. And I want 2 thirds of that. So 1 third is right there. So 2 thirds would be right there. So that line would encompass 2 thirds of this top semicircle. And semicircle is pi radians. All right, next, to convert this to radians, well, I start with 225, and then if I want to change it to radians, well, I need to convert it, and so I basically want pi on top. So what I do is if I multiply this by pi over 180, I'm multiplying by 1. It's just there are different units of 1. I have radians and I have degrees. So if I multiply this times 1, what happens is I'll get a pi on top, and if I reduce this, which I'm doing right here, I will get a radian measure. So if 225 and 180 reduce, because they both have 45 in common, that's 5 times 45, and that's 4 times 45. 45's cancel, and that becomes 5 pi over 4, or 5 fourths of pi, which would be equivalent to 225 degrees. You can look at your unit circle and verify it if you want. Next, terminal point um, on the circle for 5 pi over 4. Well, where would be your terminal point? Your terminal point for 5 pi over 4 is... Well, 5 pi over 4 is 1 and a quarter of pi. So 1 pi is all the way here, and then a quarter would take you halfway down right there. So that would be 1 and a quarter radians, or pi. Okay, now from there, I want to find my coordinate. Well, my coordinate is over and down the same amount, because that's a 45, 45, 90 triangle. And it would be over negative, screw it, 2 over 2, and down, screw it, 2 over 2. Remember, this quadrant's always negative. This quadrant's always, um, sorry, this quadrant, x and y are both negative. For this quadrant, you have um, x is positive, y is negative. This, x and y are both positive, and this, your x are positive and your y's are negative. Be careful with that when you find these, what quadrant you're in it is kind of important. And, uh, yeah, just find it first, and then think about the unit circle. Could help to draw it. Lastly, for this one, I want the exact value of this. To get the exact value of that, what I want to do is I want to find where 3 pi over 2 is. So 3 pi over 2 is 1 and a half pi. So 1 and a half pi. So there I am. Then I want the coordinate for there. So that coordinate would actually be 0, negative 1. And if I want cosine 3 pi over 2, cosine is your x value. So I want 0. If I wanted sine, it would be negative 1. If I wanted tangent, it would be y divided by x, which is negative 1 divided by 0, which is undefined. You've got to be careful what they're asking for. So first step is find out where it is. Second step is, are you asking for the x or y value of the coordinate? Um, 